Hey, Mike here. A lot of people have been telling me to check out the Obsidian Git plugin. It basically allows me to back up my entire vault to a remote Git repository. It allows for automatic vault backups. It pulls changes from the remote repository whenever you start up Obsidian. Now, this specifically means that if you are using the same vault on multiple devices, it will keep everything synced automatically. It also has things like a history view. For those of you who are familiar with how Git works, it works a little bit like Git log. And here are some pictures of what it all looks like. It doesn't seem to be best suited for those of you who use mobile versions of Obsidian as well, but I don't use mobile Obsidian anyway, so that doesn't really pertain to me. All right, let's install it. And of course, we also have to enable it. Now let's check out the options. When it comes to the vault backups, I'm just going to set this to 60. As for all of the other settings, I'm not going to change them. I want to see what the default mechanics really look like first before I go and get into the nitty gritty details here. The only thing I will fill out here are these two, author name, and my email. From looking at the commands, I think that initializing a new repo is the correct first step here. So in the top right hand corner, it says initialize a new repo. There isn't really a to-do list as to what we should be doing here step by step. So I'm kind of just winging it. Basically, I'm doing what I would normally do whenever I set up a new Git repo for a coding project, for example. I do want to commit everything within my Git repo. So I'm just going to commit all changes. And now it says it's committed 1,380 89 files. So I'm going to head on over to github.com and click private, create a new repository. Oh, I forgot to input a name here. I'm going to name it base vault and let's create it. Cool. So now we have it all set up. I can just copy this little URL here. I've been trying to figure out how to go about this entire process through the Obsidian application itself, but even if I go through this remote process, it's just not as intuitive of an experience as I would expect it to be. So I'm going to finish all of this through the command line. First, we will add the remote origin. Now it's going through the process of syncing everything up. And there we go. So now in my, of course, private base vault repo, I have everything that I need when it comes to the Obsidian Vault. Again, one problem I have so far is that the experience is definitely not as intuitive as you would expect it to be. I would recommend, I don't know, adding a little to-do section, like a checkbox list that a new user to this plugin could follow so that they make sure that everything is set up correctly. But then again, hey, maybe this plugin's target market is experienced Git users. Though, on the other hand, it could never hurt to explain things a little bit better. I will set this to one just so that we can see it working and at least test it one sync time. So I added this little sentence here. It should modify this specific file and no other file, of course. I wonder if there is some sort of notification that pops up whenever the sync process is initiated or complete. Oh, there we go. Committed two files here in the top right hand corner. And it does also mention that it pushed those two files to remote. So now let's check the repo. So I haven't refreshed yet. As you can see, the latest commit was 18 minutes ago. Let's refresh here and boom, it now says now. All right, so that's everything working. Using this type of backup system is basically having free storage of all of your current and previous files. Now, as I'm talking here, you can see that it tried pushing again, but there were no changes. So of course, now I'm going to change this to 60 instead of one minute. And yeah, that's about it. Thank Thank you so much for watching today's video. It was just a quick setup for utilizing the Git Obsidian plugin. A lot of people were mentioning it to me, so I just wanted to check it out, give it a fair shot. As you can see, I already have a few fixes that might be useful to have in place. As always, a huge, huge thank you to all of my System Sculpt patrons. If you would like to support the journey here, then patreon.com slash system sculpt. I make videos every single day, answer all of your questions, and hey, let's uh, let's keep sculpting all of our systems. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow.